Clip Studio Paint counsels their new AI feature. Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Clip Studio gave us an update this week on their website about an upcoming feature to Clip Paint Studio, which would have given us the ability to use AI generated imagery. The update could for some be considered bad news, for others, maybe a huge relief. It seems that due to feedback they've had from users of the software, they have decided to pull the feature. So it will not be a part of the upcoming update for version 2.0. Whether this will change when we get to version 3 or version 4, we'll have to wait and see. Because fortunately or unfortunately, depending on where you stand with this, it doesn't look like AI is going to be going anywhere. The ball is rolling now. The toothpaste is well and truly out of the tube and it's going to be very difficult putting it back in. I think only time is going to tell how this is going to change everything, including art. We can't stop it, we just have to manage it as best we can. But getting back to Clip Studio, this is what they had to say. We apologise for the anxiety and concern we have caused regarding the announcement of the image generator palette on November 29th. After the initial announcement, we received a lot of feedback from the community and will no longer implement the image generator palette. Here are some of the concerns that we have taken to heart. Current image generation AI exploits other artists' intellectual property and is unusable. This feature will hinder rather than help artists in their creative activities. Using artists' work that is not opted in to a data set is ethically unacceptable. The fear that this will make Clip Studio Paint artwork synonymous with AI generated work. There are existing features that need to be prioritized over image generation AI features. Having something unknown in the app, I use daily, potentially infringing on legal or moral rights is unacceptable. Clip Studio Paint should be an app that takes responsibility for a safe creative environment. The image generator palette was developed with the hope that we could provide a new way to experience creativity. However, we had neglected to take the necessary considerations. We were so preoccupied with how generative AI technology could be used creatively that we lost sight of what our core users want from Clip Studio Paint as a creative tool. We would like to sincerely apologise. Celsius, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, will not be implementing any image generator AI features in Clip Studio Paint that present this kind of concern and we will listen more sincerely to the opinions of creators. We will redouble our efforts to provide features that can be used with peace of mind by all artists. So yeah, that's what they had to say about it. Now personally, I will say, I think it's good that they're listening to their customers. I think that's a good business practice. When you try to give the customer what they want and you show them a little respect and listen to their concerns. I also think that when they planned this feature that it wasn't intended to exploit anyone or cause people anxiety problems. I honestly believe that they wanted to keep the program competitive with other good programs out there by offering artists another tool. Now some people don't see AI as a tool but again that's a whole other discussion. I just trying to say that Clip Studio Paint has been known, has been well known for some time now as a program that offers a lot of interesting and useful features such as perspective grids, 3D models, animation, comic book panels. There are so many things to list and there's so much more coming in version 2 and I really do think that they're trying to add to that extensive list and like I say that they've heard what the artist was saying and almost immediately put them at ease by saying okay if you don't want this we'll take it out and I, so you know kudos for them for doing that i think that's a, that side of it is a good thing that they've they've listened and they've changed and just steamrolled ahead with it 
regardless. Now I'm going to keep my opinions about this a little bit back for now because I think that would be best in a separate video uh, to go through how I feel about what's going on right now. But I'd be interested to know what you all think about this, about the decision to pull it. Are you one of those people that were looking forward to this feature and maybe you're a little bit disappointed that you won't get to play with this new tech if, if uh, tech is the right phrase, I don't know if that is. Perhaps you're relieved that this is no longer going to be a part or planned part for now in Clip Studio Paint. So do let me know in the comments what you think and I hope you have a creative and productive day. Bye bye for now.